Welcome to New Life. What a joy to have you join us for our morning worship. I am Renisha Graham and I have your news for this Sunday, November 13th. Youth Bible Study is every first and third Tuesday night and Youth Choir Rehearsal is every second and fourth Tuesday night at Annex 2 in the cafeteria. Both start at 7 p.m. and will end at the conclusion of Tuesday night Bible study. If you can't make it in person, you can watch any or all of our annexes on Facebook or YouTube. Join us for in-person Bible study on Tuesday nights beginning at 7 p.m. Remember to log in to our co-pastor-led Bible study on Thursday night beginning at 7 p.m. Don't forget about Virtual Sunday School on Saturday nights beginning at 7 p.m. Please keep in mind we have baptismal service every first Sunday immediately following the 930 service at Annex 2. Please see our church website for important information regarding dates and deadlines pertaining to baptism. We have several different ways to pay your tithes and offerings, whether in person or virtually. You can give in person during service, online through our website, or you can use Cash App from your mobile device. You can also mail it to the church office. Let's continue staying safe and keeping one another lifted up in prayer. Please be in prayer for Brother Jamal Thomas as he lost his brother, Frankie Stewart, who was 34 and passed on Tuesday. His mother, Jacqueline Thomas, then passed away on Thursday. Both were from Cleveland, Ohio. Let's lift up Deacon Eric and Rhonda Brown as she lost her father, Roland Harris. Homegoing services will be held at Annex 2 on Saturday at 1 p.m. Prayers are being requested for Ophelia Hatcher, the sister of Shawan Hatcher, and the Hatcher family as she lost her son, Marquise Kintex Hatcher. Funeral services will be held at Annex 4 on Saturday at 10.30 a.m. Please be in prayer for Jamari Jackson, one of our musicians at New Life, as he lost his father, Pastor Sam Jackson. Homegoing services were held on yesterday at Springfield Missionary Baptist Church in Millbrook, Alabama. Let's be in prayer for Brother Kendall Brackett and the Brackett family, as he lost his great uncle, Howard Brackett, of Buffalo, New York. And our thought for the week, never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. Now, let's get back to our worship. 